welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Mackenzie if you're new here and I film mostly uh, college lifestyle content and sometimes I do the occasional favorites video like what I'm doing today. If you're new here I'd love it if you'd subscribe and join our small little community that's growing. So my favorite time of year definitely is fall and with fall comes school and fun decor, Halloween, all that great stuff. So I thought that I would show you guys some of my fall favorites that I've been using a lot over the past few months. They range everywhere from school to books and skincare. So I thought I'd share those with you because I love watching these myself. So first things first is obviously <laughs> Bath and Body Works fall scented candles. I love these things so much and especially during school I find it very nice to relax with a nice candle lit while I do my studying. Um, it kind of makes like a nicer environment than studying without a candle. It's totally not necessary. I just really like it. I also enjoy lighting one of these while I'm watching TV and kind of resting after a long day. It helps me to decompress. So the two that I have here that I've purchased for this season are leaves, which I think is like notorious on YouTube since like 2015 for being the best fall scented candle and it really is. It's awesome. And I have a uh, vanilla birch here as well, which I have never seen before. Maybe I just, I don't know, missed it. But I love this one too. Since we are living in these pandemic times and masks are pretty much mandatory everywhere, they've kind of become a necessity and staple. Cute masks are not necessary at all. Like you can just get the uh, blue ones, but I found this really cute set of masks at The Gap and I really really love it, especially for fall. They're reusable. I think a pack of three was about $15. I could be wrong, which is kind of a lot, but they're really cute and you can reuse them and I don't know, I like this one. It has nice fall colors in it. There you go. It's blue and it has little flowers on it, so it's very cute. In terms of school supplies, my absolute favorite thing that I've purchased for school this year is a laptop stand. This bad boy is so necessary if you're doing Zoom college, which I think most of us are. So your laptop just goes on top of the stand here and basically it just makes the laptop screen level to your eyes when you're sitting so you don't have to kind of hunch down and look at the laptop. I know my back gets uncomfortable when I sit at my desk for long terms of time and I feel like I'm always at my desk now. I work from home, I have Zoom college. So this has alleviated a lot of my back pain. Obviously it's not all gone, but it's definitely, I think, made it better. I've also ordered some blue light glasses on Amazon that haven't come in yet, but I'm super excited to try those out because I've heard really great things about them. Uh, comment down below if you have blue light glasses and if they've worked for you because I'm really excited to try them. Another one of my school favorites is honestly like I, I feel like I'm the only one who would put this in their school favorites and my friends who are watching this are probably going to laugh because they're going to think that it's the most me thing ever to put this in my favorites video. Um, I bought a label maker. It was on sale for $29 and it is like the brother P-Touch one, I think. My label maker is honestly like, I think I've had it three days, <laughs> but it made it in the favorites because I already love it that much. I have eight subjects this semester and that means I have eight notebooks for each of my classes. So the label maker really just helped to identify all of my notebooks. Totally not necessary. I really, like I know that was not necessary, but I really like it and I'm definitely going to use it so much. I'm, I'm really excited about it actually. My last school favorites is my agenda and I think this is the cutest agenda that I've ever had. Um, it is from the brand Fringe and I got it on indigo.ca or Chapters if you're in Canada. Um, it's like Barnes and Noble basically. Um, so I love it so much. It has 
stickers, which is the best. You know, it's a good planner when it has these. <laughs> and I just, I really like the color palette that it's used. On each month, there's a glance portion. Um, and then it goes into full month calendar and finally weekly. I don't know what I would do without a planner. Any planner is a great planner in my books. I just, I think they're necessary. Uh, especially like if you're in school, you work while in school, you work. Like, I don't know what I'd do without my planner. Another fun fall favorites is pumpkin spice cake Nespresso pods. Yay! <laughs> I totally love the pumpkin spice coffee flavor, any of it. I love it. I love pumpkin so much. I saw on Twitter, I think, that these had been released and I had to order a few boxes just to keep throughout the year, to keep the pumpkin spirit going. But yeah, I, I totally love these so much. Definitely saves going out for coffee and spending money like at Starbucks on a pumpkin spice latte. My favorite, favorite, favorite thing for beauty is the Summer Fridays jet lag mask. This is my first time buying it. I think I got it about a month ago. I purchased this because in order to get your birthday gift on Sephora.ca, you have to like buy something. So I had always wanted to try it. I bought the mini version. And honestly, I love this so much. I, I can't even, like every night after I shower, I put this on and I know you're not supposed to put it on every night, but I do. <laughs> um, it doesn't say anywhere that you shouldn't use it every night. So, anyways, basically it is a face mask that you don't have to wash off. It basically goes on like a moisturizer, in my opinion. This stuff keeps my skin really hydrated, and honestly, I really, really love it. My other skincare favorite is from The Ordinary, which honestly, like, this is the only product of their line that I've tried, but I love it so much. Um, it is the Hyaluronic Acid, and I use this also like a moisturizer, except it comes more, it's like in a gel type of formula. But yeah, so I would use this mostly in the daytime, and then at night I would use the Summer Fridays mask. I really love this. Let me know if there's any other The Ordinary products I should try. All their products are like $5, so I would totally be willing to try more of their stuff. I feel like a, a fall staple is Burt's Bees lip balm. I love these so much. It's my favorite stick lip balm and they come in the best flavors. This one is coconut and pear and this one is vanilla bean and I leave these at my desk and during class, whatever, put them on. A great lip balm. If I'm looking for more of a glossy look to my lips, I don't really wear lipstick or lip gloss so I would instead use my Laneige lip balm. This is in vanilla and I honestly love it. If you've been a subscriber of my channel for a while, you know that I love this stuff so much. This is my second or third one, I think second, but I love it so much. I would totally recommend it. Like, it lasts a very long time. My first one lasted me the whole winter last year, and in Canada, you know that that means it's a good lip balm because you use it all the time because it's so cold. <laughs> I would definitely, definitely recommend this. And then finally into books. So the book that I'm currently reading for fun is Maybe You Should Talk to Someone by Lori Gottlieb. I don't know where I heard about this, but I think it's going to be turned into a TV show. Basically it's a nonfiction book about a therapist. So in this case, it's the author, Lori Gottlieb, and she ends up going to therapy. And this book is an account of therapy through a therapist's eyes. I'm about halfway through and I really like it. I love reading for fun during school time. It helps me to relax. I like this one so far and if it turns out to be a TV show, I am so in to watch it. <laughs> my next two books on my to be read pile for the fall are 
I have Alicia Keys' memoir, More Myself, and I have Lauren Graham's memoir, Talking As Fast As I Can. So for Alicia Keys' memoir, I'm so excited to watch this. I love her so much. I love her music. I loved her on The Voice. My aunt is a librarian, and she was reading this this summer and told me it was amazing. So I'm so excited to finally get to snuggle up with it and read it and see how it is. So excited to read this this fall. And I have Lauren Graham's memoir, and this is more out of the fact that I'm obsessed with Gilmore Girls at the moment. I've never watched it before and I'm currently watching it through for my first time and I love it and I found out that she wrote a book. As a fan, I am so excited to read this as well. Finally, in terms of podcasts, I find that I've been listening to them way more than I have in the past and I think that's probably because I work from home so it's good to listen to a podcast while I'm working or during school while I'm doing like readings I like to have one on in the background so some of the podcasts that I have been loving lately are Thick and Thin Katie Bellotti's podcast um, I absolutely love her I've been watching her I think since I was in high school maybe middle school but I love her podcast so, so, so much. I've also been listening to uh, Shelby and Monica Church's Millennial Life Crisis podcast. I love them too. I don't think they've made a new episode in a while, but I enjoy it nonetheless. I've been listening to uh, Abby Aslan's Gen Z Girl podcast. I also watch all of her videos and I love her productivity and now she's in grad school. So I find that super interesting to follow along with. Lots of good tips for productivity and honestly like telling yourself that it's okay to not be productive all the time, which I also appreciate. In terms of music, I think most of the music I've been listening to comes from TikTok. Like right now I'm obsessed with um, Still Don't Know My Name by Labyrinth from the Euphoria uh, soundtrack. I love that song. I really like Backyard Boy by Claire Rossencrantz such a great song it's just very fun but yeah most of the stuff i've been listening to is from tiktok i discovered maggie rogers i think last month and i really really love her as well i think her music is so different and obviously casey musgraves i love casey musgraves any season casey musgraves and i think that's it all right guys so those are my fall favorites comment below what your fall favorites are because i would love to know if you liked this video subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.